Oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. All right, this is first early morning Zios. And I need to get something. I got to... I gotta make sure that Kishele deck is okay because the other one had like issues in the morning. And so I gotta turn on that amp to play this and I gotta make the music play. But that's so far away. It's so far away. So what's in this bag will help me with the with the distance problem I have. And here's what's gonna help me. A tire and flutter gun so I could fill up a go-kart tire and I could drive over no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I didn't realize this was also in there last night. I'm looking for the cast of smart plugs and we'll use one over there on camera so you can understand how awesome it is. This is a tire. All right, so here's a quick story. Um, for no reason other than probably depression and just fucking 2020-ness, I scrolled back through all the things in my Amazon shopping cart that I haven't purchased. And I know specifically when I was like looking for like certain things. And I went back to the beginning of my Amazon account to the point where I was like, holy shit. I did, there was, there's been anime figures dotted around that I've never purchased. But when I first got my white Corolla, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna put a fucking 12 volt compressor system in there with a little hose reel so I could use air tools on my car. This is back when I was an idiot six years ago, six years ago, five years ago, maybe. And I'm like, that's dumb. But this was one of the things that I was going to buy to leave in my car that had a built-in movable compressor system. But that whole list of like things in my previous car, I could do a video on it. It was like, I could see every problem that I had and things I would add to the cart, you know, just in case of like, you know what, I might need this for the, this problem I'm having. And I could tell exactly when that problem was in my life, building my projection screen, um, getting the second apartment, th things that I was like, oh shit, I'm probably gonna need this, put it in my cart, save for later, never bought it. And it's still 300 and something items in my cart. So it's like, and I could see like headphones. There was stuff in there, there was headphones in there that I've reviewed, but I didn't buy them. I was gonna buy them to review them and someone sent them to me afterwards. So you're, if you haven't checked out your Amazon save for later cart, if it's huge like mine, if it's like 300 items, go and just, just travel back in time and understand the problems you had and have you fixed them? That was, it was pretty, it was enlightening. And I was able to take this from way back in the day, from five years ago, and I was like, I'm gonna build this thing in my car and go, holy fuck, I actually do need one of these from my garage where the compressor is, so I can't fill a fucking tire. I can't fill a tire in my car because um, I don't have one of these. And this, this removes the need for me to have both a tire inflator and a tire inflator gauge because it's built in and it's Campbell and Hausfeld, so it can't be that bad. And it wasn't that expensive either. Like I saw that and I'm like, wow, really? All right, cool. This is nice and easy to open. I'm sure it's Chinese. Yep, Fabrique and China. I feel like made in China sounds better if you're just, if you're Spanish. It just, just does. So we've got the little thing. This is my favorite part because it's got the locking McGig, wow, that is really quality. And that just feels great. Because this way you just go, you squeeze this, you shove it on, you go whoop, and then it just stays there. It'll just hang there onto the tire inflator. Up to 150 PSI or KPA if you want to be one of those people. It's a little loose feeling, like that just, but that's just every air tool. I don't know, it's like they're not allowed to make them tight. And I could probably get a pliers in this. Nope, never mind, there's a locking thing there so it's a, it has to rock back and forth Ooh, so it fits here i'm probably going to, have to swap this out just unscrew from here i think i just screw the other thing onto this so here's your filler here's your deflator right there that's so fucking nice i didn't even know that was in that location so it'll probably hold and then they do this i don't know i don't have this no i can no, that was, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, that's nice. It's not even too big either. It's like a nice size, small one. And this will rotate so it doesn't look like it's an erect thing. It's going to hang down now. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know what, in my cart for five years, now it's not. Anyway, as you can see, I've sort of like gathered, I think I'm going to bring these to my local hardware store and just be like, here, sell them for a dollar. 
They're, they're, they're previously used Levitons. They're all made in America. They're all great switches, but they've now officially all been switched out. Except for the basement lights are the only ones left. The only ones left are the basement lights to be under CASA control. And the reason we went with CASA, and this is a smart switch we're talking about. The reason we went to CASA is because my friend is obsessed with hating on um, server-based ones. So, in other words, um, like I'm not even sure, I think Wemo is okay and Z-Wave stuff is okay, but like any of the smart plugs that have like a brand name, like Samsung. <sighs> the problem with those is when you say, hey, turn on my lamp, they actually go out and ask fucking the Samsung server in Taiwan or something, what does he want me to do? And then they say, okay, do this, and it comes back. Where's Casa? Let me go this way. We gotta add a plug, add a device, uh, smart plugs, and there's two types of smart plugs, or several types of smart plugs. There's a smart plug light or mini. Um, hit next. Is it blinking blue and orange? Yes. Next. Connecting to the smart plug. So this will actually just talk to my Wi-Fi network. It just sits in my Wi-Fi. All the switches and lights and switch and all these things don't leave the house. And my friend is obsessed because there have been companies that he's followed that have had that where they go out of business. And now all the devices you've bought by them don't work. They're just done. It's on my network. It doesn't know my network. It's got to search for my network. My phone's got to connect to the network. Sometimes it does this, sometimes it doesn't. Wait, wait, it's, it's doing a thing. Uh, Alexa just alerted me that it found that plug already, even though I haven't finished setting it up. I'm gonna swipe back. Oh, I gotta connect to the thing. This is one of those ones that's just gonna, oh, there, connected. I have to be on the same Wi-Fi network I want that on. So now I'm gonna name this, and I'm gonna name it um, 5000 $5, dollar German tube amp. $5,000 German tube amp. Next. And obviously you could change this. I'm just going to push a plug. Actually, you could take a camera picture of it. Perfect. Smile, baby. Um, there it is. We're going to hit next on that. Um, there's our picture. Hit save. Congratulations. You've configured your smart plug. Now, I'm not sure if it's in an on or off state by default. There, it was in an on state. So now, sounds good. So now, flip that on. Echo, turn on the $5,000 German tube amp. No. Okay. If you decide to connect this plug to a light, you can change its settings in the Alexa app. First time it's ever done that. Like it never asked about my plug before. Why did it ask about this particular plug? I don't know. Anyway, so now, titties, $5,000 German tube amp is over there. And they're just, you, you can just take it, replace the name. I would probably number it. See, then I can't really number it though. Like if I could write like the number four on this actual unit and then some, I'd have to call it switch floor four or German tube amp four to have it be in the list. But um, I've already got four of them in use and now I have five of them in use. And they're, they're great for like literally just that. Because I was, I went down the basement yesterday. This is why I bought these because I ran out because I've been used to have them all over the fucking house now. But I was down the basement and I realized I got stuck down there for about an hour with this thing just up here paused, like there was nothing playing. And I'm like, oh fuck, I'm just burning $5,000 German tube amp um, things. Actually 6,000 because it has a DAC in it, but I'm not gonna change that because I'm not using the DAC, I'm only using the amp. So now I could just yell at her forever I am or just whip out the cast app on my phone and that's the picture of it right there. And here's everything, you ready? Oh, we're gonna go through a tour of everything. These are seat groups, don't look at those. But here's the smart plugs in use. Recirculator pump under there for my hot water. Room lamp, stupid lamp, TV backlight. 
Then I have anime cabinet. Then banks one through four are the big lights up there. Um, I might do an actual like Z review of, of Casa stuff because it's so nice. The deck lights are back there. We've added those. Entryway, gallery is currently on or off or on. Um, guest bedroom fan. Uh, the kitchen has multiple parts. There's the front, the island, the mains, the rear, the under cabinet lights, which I need to change out to better under cabinet lights. Master bedroom's on here, the master bedroom fan, the, the globes, remember the globes? I've changed the globes out. I took the globes off and took out the fucking stupid bulbs and put spots and, or floodlights and look how much nicer it is. Now I love them. They need to be decorated so you don't just see a bulb sitting there, but that's nice. Um, office closet light is there, office fan light, pantry lights are here. The, how we combine this, by the way, into one switch, because there was no point in having like the cabinet and the room be on two separate fucking switches. And I turned off the bulb and the thing. Um, that's nice. Porch lights that way, porch torches, sex lights. Everybody needs sex lights in their, in their life. There, those are sex lights. Sue me. Uh, sunroom, fan, veranda lights, and veranda torches. That's currently what's on this. The only thing that's going to be left is the basement. So that I've, if I'm coming upstairs and I'm not, I've determined I don't need to leave the basement lights on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I'm like, oh fuck, I left the basement lights on. Shut off the basement lights. So there's my home automation. Um, also, I want to talk one for one quick second that if you got these and you were a fucking code master, you could do this. And you could put like a secret dungeon door on the end of it and then plug this into the wall and you'd have to know the code words to turn on this one this one and that one in that order and, and that would be how you like initiate the motor to turn on things so you have to turn on the first unit with like um what's this would be the airborne velocity of a swallow but uh what were the other questions from monty python you could literally do that and it would go click on, and then that would power this, and this would have to find the network. Then this would click on, uh, and click on. So that's just kind of cool, a cool idea. Anyway, I'm done with this now. That's cute. Uh, yeah, there was, I want to thank my friend IT Man Pasta. Link IT Man's channel again, because he's the one that helped me install all this shit. Like, he's the one that recommended it, he's the one that did all that, so I gotta give the man some credit. And um, I'll give him a hardware store, and we're cool. I'm cool, you're cool, we're cool, thank you. Good night.